Hey guys, Mr. Bouchard here, and we're here today, today to talk about sorting of sediments. Um, so when sediments are deposited, they're obviously going to be sorted in different ways, right? And sorting, you guys know, all right? It's basically when you take things of the same characteristic and then make them into groups, all right? The rivers will naturally do this by the velocity changing in different ways. So let's talk about this. All right, so what does it mean to be sorted, really? All right, so we can sort, obviously, by size of sediment, pebbles, granules, coarse sand, medium sand, fine sand, uh, silt, clay. And they'll use these different distinctions and questions, so don't get hung up on that. Don't get confused by that. Make sure you understand the difference. Uh, angular, sub-rounded, well-rounded. That's another way to talk about sediment, sediment also. Also, the words poorly sorted, well sorted. So poorly sorted means all mixed up. Well sorted means all the same size. Alrighty. So sediments of similar characteristics are um, basically size, shape, or density are deposited into groups is when you have sorting happening. The greater the similarity in size, the more sorted the sediments are considered to be. Um, I don't have my animations anymore, all right, but here's like a real life version of this. Uh, so vertical sorting, this is called a sediment tube, shake it up, okay, and what happens? The bigger stuff already is settling on the bottom, okay, as you go up the column, you're going to see there's um, kind of like a medium size here that's starting to settle and then at the top there's very fine stuff that will still be suspended for a while. After a while, this one's been sitting for a little bit, um, but the more this sits, the more clear this water is going to become because all these little colloids that are up here will eventually settle down on the bottom. All right, so I could show you this days later. Um, it may not fully be settled after days, but it takes some time to happen, right? But that's uh, this type of sorting, the vertical sorting. So where does this happen? Um, so this is, is a type of graded bedding. Uh, vertical sorting means that larger particles settle first, smaller last. So it's basically large, medium, small, all right? And it basically keeps um, it, this sometimes can repeat over and over again, all right? So you can have this happening over and over again, small, me, uh, large, medium, small, all right, on top of each other. One common place for this to happen is something called the turbidity flow. Um, so it's a landslide um, along the ocean bottom. Um, during er earthquakes, hurricanes, storms, uh, sometimes the water can get disturbed and cause an underwater avalanche or landslide. Um, we found out about these actually when they severed connections with Europe. Um, our telephone si signal actually got cut. Um, so basically um, it's an underwater avalanche of sediment. And again, large is on the bottom, medium, and then small at the top. All right, always in that order. Rivers also carry sediment, as we mentioned. So another type of graded bedding can be called horizontal. Uh, this is when velocity of the river decreases as it enters a larger body of water, such as the ocean or a lake. Um, sediment size decreases offshore. So the larger, denser, more spherical particles will be settling first. Smaller, less dense, flatter particles will continue on in the river until they're finally dropped. So usually we think se uh, sediment size, so pebbles, sand, silt, clay, all right, going in order of sediment size, all right, and you notice it's horizontal, so sediment size decreases as you go further off the shoreline, okay, and that's uh, sometimes we'll do this uh, from an above view, a map view. Sometimes we'll do it like a side view like this. Cross bedding is depositing sediments at an angle to the horizon. Um, this type of 
sorting is done on sand dunes because you met, remember I said the wind blows up the uh, gentle slope of the sand dune and then collapse down the other side all right so again angle um, it's basically at an angle because of that uh, also you can have crustal movements that leads to cross bedded uh, rock all right so don't forget rock layers don't get deposited that way we talked horizontal first and then crustal movements happen so don't forget that so again up the gentle slope of the wind that's called the windward side and then the side where it collapses at a high angle that's your uh, leeward side of the sand dune all right and then we have glacial deposits um, sediments of all sizes shapes and densities are deposited together unsorted so glaciers kind of pick up sediment and drop it in any old way all right um, the name of this unsorted sediment is called till um, and in this till sometimes we can have largest of sediment like boulders um, these boulders we know come from somewhere else because they do not match the surrounding bedrock okay um, drumlins are whale shaped hills or whale backed hills um, they're oval shaped mounds of unsorted sediment um, so the glacier comes from the side that's higher up so the glacier actually moves this way so it kind of like um, drops a lot of sediment at first and then runs out drops a lot of sediment at first and then runs out um, so it kind of makes like I said a series of these usually and always the big mound is where it came from and then the smaller side is where it's running out of sediment okay so it's heading this way it came from that direction so we can use this to know which way the glacier went through the area actually other glacial features uh, we're going to be talking about so valleys obviously um, there's also continental ice sheets um, we're going to go in more into detail about these uh, but glaciers definitely are um, a big part of the New York State landscape re region basically um, especially the Long Island he here where we live all right so till and erratics again uh, glaciers are responsible for this uh, being here so along our shoreline we have a lot of these uh, big boulders uh, no one put them there they got carried by the glacier all right and that's pretty much it um, I'm going to continue the rest of the notes uh, in this PowerPoint uh, with the next set of notes 10-3 glaciers all right thank you guys for tuning in